Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy and Plugin Review Friday, where every Friday I show you a new plugin, we walk through its feature set, and I show you how to apply it to a mix so you can make professional sounding mixes in your home studio. Okay, before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few free gifts I want to give you that is absolutely going to help you make better music in your home studio. So stick around. everybody, welcome back to Plugin Review Friday. This time out, we're gonna take a look at yet another plugin from United called the Fire Master. This is intended to be used on a master bus, kind of on a final mix or as part of a mastering session. However, you can use it on individual tracks as well, but we're gonna to listen to it on a couple of my final mixes just to see what it does. Um, the mix has already been done and we're gonna add this on kind of after the fact. Now, full disclosure, United did give me this plugin uh, free of charge, um, as well as a bunch of their other plugins that I've been doing some YouTube video reviews on. Um, um, you could check the playlist for the United plugins uh, reviews, but however, in no way, shape or form have they told me what I need to say about this or asked or suggested that I do anything other than my fair and unbiased in my own opinion review. And that's how I do all of these plugin demos. I don't get paid by these companies in any way, shape or form, but I wanna let you know that they did give this to me. I didn't buy this, but um, but because we're doing some demo uh, reviews for them, they're gonna be so kind to also provide me with some, some other licenses that I can give away to some subscribers as part of our monthly mixing contest. You can check that out at mixingmadeeasy.net. All the links are in the description box below. So let's walk through this plugin. Real simple to use. Um, we have an input slot, input uh, control here on the left. In the center, we have our big wet dry knob here. We have our two tubes here uh, in the center that kind of glow when you hit it really, really hard, although we're gonna use this in a much more subtle way. And then along the bottom, we have a bass control, a depth control, an air, and a color for some saturation, and then an output knob. We can bypass the plug-in right here on the top right-hand corner. And they also have some presets here that you could check out as well. So as I said, I have three separate mixes here, um, three different styles of music, a classic hard rock tune, a country tune, and kind of a pop tune with a female vocal. This is on my master bus, and the, these tracks are going through the master bus. Now again, these are finished mixes. Um, so they're already done, already been mastered, and so we're just putting this on at the end here just to see what it kind of does. So here we go. So here is the first track, and we will uh, twiddle around with some of the knobs and see uh, what it does. Here we go. Okay, so the color dial instantly adds some saturation, which is going to add a little bit of compression. It's going to kind of squash things down a little bit. So again, because this is a final mix, I think you'd want to use this in a much more subtle way. You may be more aggressive with these controls if you were doing on raw tracks as opposed to a, a already mixed song. But that's how this, this uh, plugin is kind of marketed. So we're going to dial back things and do things in a very subtle way. The thing about these types of plugins, which are fantastic, they really you know add a really nice flavor and really can uh, make things pop but you gotta make sure you don't overdo it. You can very easily overdo it and just ruin a mix with this, so we gotta be careful.
So what it appears to do for me, um, at least in the headphones here, um, is to, it gives it a little bit more of an expensive sound, a little bit more of a hi-fi sound. Now you may like that or may not like that. Again, using the wet dry knob, you could kind of just dial in what you want. When you put this plug in on a default, it puts it at 100% wet. And I think then you have to be really careful with these controls along the bottom here so you don't overcook it. Because again, this wasn't this plugin wasn't used at the end of my mixing process, which is where you may want to use it to kind of finalize things. I've already done all the mix, so I don't want to change the tonal characteristics all that much here because I've already finished it. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. If you were using this during the course of a mix towards the very end before you buttoned it up, you can maybe be a little bit more aggressive. So we're going to dial this back to about 60%. <laughs> Very nice. Does a really nice job, again, in a very subtle way. So that's kind of hard rock. Let's listen to this on like kind of a country, kind of a more, a little bit more relaxed kind of a song here. Let's see what we have here. Oops, sorry, pop this open. Here we go. Let's listen to it now on this kind of a country vibe. Let's see, we'll go back to the beginning. Again, very nice. I love the way the tubes kind of glow blue. It's kind of cool. Um, again, it gives it a little bit more of an expensive sound to it, like a more finished sound. Again, in a subtle way, I think, again, this is a really nice, um, we looked at the Fire Cobra last week, the Fire Master, similar to that. Um, in a very, if you use it subtly, this can make a little bit of difference, give you a little bit of sweetness on the top, but you want to make sure you don't overdo it. So maybe even dial back the dry wet even more. I always play it too close to the chest. I think pulled back here to about 30, 40% is probably for me, at least on this particular song, kind of the sweet spot where it gives it that little push, but it doesn't screw around too much what's going on with the, you know, with the, uh, with the frequency range and the way I had it mixed to begin with. So again, sounds really good. Great little tool. Let's listen to it on the last song here. This is like kind of a pop song. Let's listen to that and see what that does. Instantly love what it does to the low end on that kick drum um, as I boost it up a little bit higher.
she's a pretty little thing that loves her mama, but you met her at the candy store. And I saw you checking out a lane that she walked through the door. And I watched and I watched and I let you go as I played you like a toy. Cause I know you're another but I like what it's doing to this track even more so than the last one. And I like the last one better than the first one. So what I'm kind of determining just with these three songs, the real hard rock track with the big guitars, lots of guitars in that song. There's 90 tracks in that mix. Very busy, very dense. This maybe got to be very, very subtle because you can overcook it very quickly. On the country tune and even on this pop tune, it seems like you have a little bit more clarity. It's a little more forgiving in that way and you can push it a little harder and it doesn't sound like you overprocessed it. It just sounds, gives it a little bit more of that richness. What a good for nothing, lazy little mama's boy. Cause your lips are talking, but your feet don't do no walking. Well, I just don't think you understand. I'm sick of your man. Really nice. This is a nice plugin. Again, this is one of those utility plugins that if you do some, if you master your own work or do any mastering work, this could be a really good mastering tool. But just like the Fire Cobra that we looked at a couple of weeks back, it's one of those things that um, I don't know that I would have it on every single mix. It certainly wouldn't be on every single track, but this as a finisher is really nice. Again, done in a very subtle way because it's got the saturation. It's got some of the depth and the width. Now, again, keep in mind these songs when they were mixed, I already had a lot of saturation, a lot of stereo widening and width going on. So I'm kind of overdoing it with this. Um, but if you don't have those types of plugins, this is a real simple way to kind of really just put that final sheen on. This is a nice little utility plugin, something that I would encourage you to take a look at. Again, links will be in the description box. You could go demo, demo it for free. Um, but a very cool plugin. I like, I like what it's doing here. I like it a lot. I think I would definitely try this on a master bus as I was working on a mix and not on a finished product like this. So that is what the Fire Master Pro can do for you on a final mix and a master. If you want to check it out, click the link in the description box below. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, I want to give you a free gift. If this is your first time here, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get my five free tips to a professional sounding mix PDF. Click on the orange button. It's my gift to you. Free of charge just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And also we talk a lot about mixing on this channel, especially recently with all these plugins and stuff. And if you really want to learn the craft of mixing in a very non-technical way, check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net. You may have a chance to win this plugin as part of our monthly mixing contest giveaway, which is really, really cool. And last but certainly not least, I want to give you a coupon code. So if you want to check out one of the courses at Home Recording Made Easy, you could get a 25% discount. Coupon code is YouTube25. Just use that at checkout, get 25% off. Let me hear from you below. Leave some comments. Do you use any of the United uh, company's plugins? Do you, have you checked out the Firemaster? What do you think of it? Are you going to go demo it? What other types of plugins do you have that do something very similar that you use to kind of finalize and put that nice sheen on your mix? I'd be interested to know. Let me know in the comment section below. And until next Plugin Review Friday, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. <laughs>